So, Tony, uh, you met me for a few times and um, over time. How do you find me and how can I improve myself? Mm -hmm. One of the interesting things about Rehan is his own focus, if you like, on everybody else and also on himself and his own growth. Uh, in my own philosophy, I've pointed out to people that teachers and providers of information often believe that they should practice what they preach. I think it's more serious. They should preach what they practice. And Rehan does that. He examines himself. He looks in the mirror. He checks all the elements of his being, you know, his intelligences, his diet, his family, his growing goals, and he takes himself as this wonderful object, a wonderful experiment, and he then experiments with himself, caring for himself and for others to help himself grow. So how does Ryan improve himself? How many? <laughs> Just one minute is this. Yes. What's the other question? How can I improve myself even further? Hmm. Um, how can Rehan improve himself? One is the mind-body connection. Um, he, as a student, was an athlete, a badminton champion, and then he's become a computer champion. He needs at the same time to look after his body, to generate his heart as a wonderful piece of equipment that provides the brain with gallons and gallons of Formula One oxygen. He needs more of that to enliven his body. Not much else that he really needs to do other than to continue with the development of his focus to perhaps spend a little more time on his own multiple intelligence developments, um, the improvement of his memory. The potential of his memory is wonderful. For him to pay attention to it and develop it would be excellent. I mean, he's already way up there or out there in the development of his intelligences. The main thing for him to do is to continue to expand that potential universe. Thank you, Mr. Tony Bazan. Great pleasure.